What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Unreal ENT Network, and joining me here today is my good friend Edgar over on Unreal ENT Universe. And today we're going to be discussing the future of the Autobots, the Decepticons, Transformers. Now, um, I love Transformers 4. I know you did too, right? So, yeah, that, that movie fucking surprised me. It, it, was a, it was a big surprise. Very, very good on Michael Bay's part, finally. It's about time. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you today about is the direction of Transformers in terms of video games and the direction in Transformers in terms of movies. Um, the video games, to me, uh, they were never really appealing. I always thought that they were kind of mean. Why do you, God, you are a little, really. I what, didn't play, what, I didn't what? play, I didn't play War on Cybertron. Um, oh my God, you are literally missing out one of the am great. I really? Yeah, you are. Okay. Fall of Cybertron and, and War of Cybertron is literally the best Transformer, mo best Transformer games, period. Okay. You could create your own Transformer. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck that. Hell yeah, then. Um, it's just in your own multiplayer. And you could, in Fall of Cybertron, you could create your own Grimlock. That is awesome. Uh, that is well, that is the best thing. And I'm like, to hear you not play that, I, I would never just, play them. I never fucking play them. Oh, God. I am. Um, but what I wanted to ask you is, like, the course of the direction in terms of movies. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Optimus Prime went back into space. He's going to be looking for his creators. So where do you see the movies going? Where do you want them to go? And where do you actually see them going with Michael Bay? For me, oh, well, Michael Bay, I'm saying this right now. He's not going to direct Transformers 5 and 6. Not? Uh, no. Oh. He's, he's attached to this uh, novel military movie and... He just doesn't want to do another Transformer movie. The only reason why he did Transformers Four is when, uh, Platinum Dooms uh, told him, "We want you to do another Transformer movie, but we want you, but we will let you do this movie, and that's Pain and Game, and that's the reason why Mark Wahlberg got the part." For ah, him. okay. I mean, do you see Mark Wahlberg staying? No. I don't think so. I don't so think a so. new character in Transformers Five. Yep. Wow, man. I, 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 personally, I don't want no humans. I want the entire film being CG, and be Optimus Prime looking for the creators, which is the Quintessons. If you watch the original Transformers show, they appeared in the animated movie and Trans in Transformers season three and. They're very, uh, very big villains for Transformers, the Quintessons. They're the creators of the Transformers race. And I could see them building up to Unicron in the sixth film because you got to have him into a trilogy. And for me, I really, really want Optimus Prime to just look for the creators. Just have Optimus Prime be the guy that finds the creators and battles them. And by the ending of the movie... Uh, Optimus Prime has to go back to Earth because Unicron is heading to Earth, and he can't do it alone. So he has to go get he has to go go get the rest of the Autobots. And what about Primus? Get... Primus is dead. Hmm. Prime Primus is Cybertron, and look what happened to his look. Look what happened in Transformers: Dark of the Moon. Oh God, yeah. So he's out of commission. So you have to go fight Unicron on its own. The only way you could stop Unicron is the Matrix of Leadership. And How, do, you really, think, do you think Unicron is more powerful than the creators? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's a plot twister. Um, but do you think he'll be utilized correctly? And because you know, I hope like... so. I hope so. But whoever directs the next Transformer movie, please, please have it the star of the Transformers, because Steven Spielberg, who's the producer, is the who was the producer of all these films, said he no the the Transformer movies have to star the humans because no one can relate to the no one can relate to who. No one can relate to robots. Well, and that's just one literally bullshit. But whatever, I dare. I mean, I think you can relate to Optimus Prime because, like, he's mm -hmm. a leader. He's mm -hmm. very noble. He's very courageous. You know, like shit like that. You know, like sometimes people can be related to like video game characters. You know. Yeah, um, I know. But but here's the thing: when you got stupid directors having that, it's just 
have say stuff like that, that's kind of literally insulted to the fans and literally the 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 guys who made the the, the guys who really love Transformers and. I kind of feel that's a huge missed opportunity, and please, please correct that mistake with five. Like five could be the first official Transformer show because it's literally humans guest starring, Trans- human star humans, human formers guest starring the Transformers. But like, what about a possible reboot? For the entire that could, franchise. That that could work too because a reboot can actually really do justice. And I, I, I'm okay with a reboot because a reboot could actually work and someone could be very passionate about the Transformer series and decide to say, I want to do something very different. I want to have something unique and interesting storytelling. Hell, you could do an entire trilogy of fall of the War for Cybertron battles. You can do an entire tr- trilogy of that and have the third film end it off with them heading to Earth. I, I, I think that they ought to utilize Megatron more if they did a reboot. Um, yeah, Megatron, he's he's a bitch in these movies. He's literally yeah, he a is bitch. a bitch because he got duped by the he he, he tried to go try he tried to get the the cube failed. He was a bitch to the the fallen. He was a, especially a bitch to Zeta uh, Sentinel Prime, and it's just I just. Like, where if you watch, if you play Transformers War for Cybertron, you know Megatron. You feel his anger. You know who he is, and he will not be a bitch to someone. Not be a bitch because to someone that for their own game. Like he will fight back. Like, hey, I'm in charge. You stand back. You don't. You don't fuck me. I will fuck your day up. Exactly, and that, that's how Megatron was. I felt like that's how um, Galvatron was in this film, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I, I, Except for the ending. He was the biggest bitch in the end because he ran away. But um, I felt like when he was fighting Optimus, that was awesome because like Optimus yeah. felt his presence. And he was like, you have no soul. And then fucking Galvatron grabbed him by the neck. And he was like, "That that's what makes me, like, what does he say? Like, that that's what makes me more powerful or something like that. And he fucking kicked yeah. Optimus. Like, I was like, what the hell? That was awesome. And then even when he was telling the other Autobots, he was like, that's no that's no ordinary Decepticon or whatever. He said that that I felt the presence of Megatron yeah. in that in that robot's body. And because it was Megatron reincarnated. But even at that, at the very end, I didn't think they utilized him very well because, like, he kind of ran away. It's like... It, it was just literally the vil. It wasn't his part. They were just saving him for future sequels. But... So do you think me, that he might attack... In the next movie? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Possibility, yeah, but you know, for me, I just hope they hope they do something with him. And please, please, for the love of God, bring back Star Scream. Star Scream. Oh. I'll never forget that. I, got, in the second film, he got shot in the fucking like neck. He was like Star Scream. Fucking, and he came by. He was like, sometimes cowards get to live. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, he was right, you know, like, Starscream fucking saved this asshole, but um, overall, like, final thoughts about, like, the future of the franchise? Uh, for me, I'm hoping that we, we see Starscream come back, but that's all I have. Like, I don't know what else I could say about the Transformer series that hasn't been said. It needs, it needs to be improved, but if Michael Bay doesn't return, that's fine, but I don't have any faith I really don't know how should I feel because I have faith on Transformers 5, but I don't have faith. I just, I I don't know if another director would do any good because he might just take, he might just do the same thing, have the human characters be the main star of the film. But yeah, anyhow, that's all I have to say. Well, there you have it, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Once again, if you guys are Transformers fans, don't forget to subscribe for all latest news, information, and updates. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. We want to know your thoughts and opinions on the franchise. Stay tuned for more, everybody. And uh, we'll be seeing you all later, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Peace.